and deflated all my ties. At that point in time, don't get me wrong. I get no Maria Huri. I get no Maria Huri. Know what they're saying. No, no. My concern is, are you are you mad? Are you mad? So I must die. I must die because when now you wanted to share a table with us and we didn't want to share a table with you. Now you want to kill me? Like. <laughs> If you are new here, my name is Mama Lokolele, and I love having new people here. First things first, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and become a part of this beautiful family because you know what? You are going to love it here, okay? And feel free to like the to hit the like button because, like I said, you are going to love it here. And to my returning soldiers, it is always, 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 always with love to welcome you guys here. Thank you for returning and thank you for the constant love. First things first, do you guys remember the story time where I told you about the lady who charged 30k? So, a quick update on the story. Over the weekend, I was added into a group and it was uh, uh, named uh, Stock for a Refund. So, it turns out that people still haven't been paid their money. Remember that we ended up taking two, two groceries. So, those who came after us didn't find anything. So, it turns out those people were not refunded. Some of them got bits and pieces of the groceries. It's a mess. So if you want to know more of what I am talking about, please make sure to head down on my YouTube channel and check out uh, this episode. I'm going to put it here so that you guys can go and check it out. All I'm saying is a whole rough out here. Okay. Another day, another vlog. Like I said, my name is Marvin Lokolele and I love, 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 love having you guys here. It is story time today. I was reminded of a story that happened many, many, many moons ago. And just for context, the reason why I remember the story is because we were taking pictures at work, right? So when it was my turn to take pictures of the other ladies, I kept on saying, please make sure you move away from your number plate, right? And uh, a few of them didn't get the idea as to why would I want them to do that? You know, they're like, why are you so conscious about this? And then I narrated the story to them. And after that, one of the ladies was like, actually, I feel like you should share that on your YouTube channel. So, excuse me, that is the reason why we are seated here, so that I share the story with you guys of how this guy slashed my tires, all because we didn't want to share a table with him. So, that is the reason why I am so protective over showing your number plates. Like, if it was possible, we wouldn't even show our cars, guys, just to be safe on the streets out here. But yes, sometimes mistakes happen. Sometimes you overlook certain things. But this story is so that you are conscious of what you post. Okay, let's go. So the year is 2017, if I'm not mistaken. And it is towards the end of the year. We matriculated in 2013 with my girls. And we had two of them who matriculated in 2014 because they get left uh, behind when we're doing our matric year, right? So 16, 17, we have over two years of catch up. You know what I mean? So we decided that that was back in the day, guys, when we still had Facebook. So when Facebook was the ish, you know what I mean? So we are Facebooking and we're like, actually, you know what? We guys should, we should just, ha we should hook up, you know? Let's hook up and let's hang and let's just fill each other up. You know what I mean? No problem. And then we just had that we're going to go to the establishment. Listen, I, I, I need you to think back on those days. You know, if you are from Soweto, there was an establishment in Dobsonville. There was one in, um, was it Dipkloop of Middlelands, if I'm not mistaken. But 
the establishment was the place to be you know what i mean and at that time i mean we are allowed to walk into such establishments without having to show our ids and we can even pay for our drinks you know what i mean so hot or nice or happening you know what i mean fine so we decided that not actually we're going to do the one in jacksonville because it was more central for everyone right okay um i think we were meeting at about seven ish six ish right so there was um do you, do you ladies want me to name you i'm not sure but it was Kinele, it was lebu it was busi it was me so there was four of us right exactly how it was back in high school so we go um i think i came with Busi, and i think we met up with lebu there and then Ginello joined us a bit later on so fine we get to the establishment you know who happening who nice who fantastic on says up die meaning we are open and ready so you know we are bathed we are the girls we think we are and we get to this place which was amazing the establishment you when it comes to uh aesthetics they knew their business okay so we get there the place is beautiful and i love th this has been my things from back in the day i got the black at along my you know what i mean I can't it's a little bit of PT, you know so that's why I, I loved about establishment that you would have people there but it won't be too clustered next thing we don't know how to move next thing i don't like such things so we get there it's nice the place is not packed nice music you know what i mean we get a table so when you walk in there are bouncers there all in their black suits i'm like oh, safety you know <laughs> it's all fun and good and then finally we get a table we sit now we are having the time of our life we are filling each other up uh, on things that are not on facebook you know because it's not everything that you'll be facing or uh, putting on facebook that time i had just bought my car that very year so i got my car in 2018 2018 yeah in 2018 january so we met later on in the year you know so holy congratulations holy really holy what you know it's nice and then um okay so we order our drinks we order our food we're just having a nice time like we are really really having a nice time right so okay so it gets a bit chilly and then the ladies ask to borrow my key so that they fetch their jerseys it's not a problem you know i'm not even thinking much about it that there's someone who's monitoring our movements checking where we are going and the thing about the establishment that was built called dobsonville is that it was right how do i explain it it was right outside so like when you were seated in the establishment especially the outside area you could literally see the parking lot you know but we didn't think much about that or if there's someone who's busy checking us out you know fine we are chilling it's nice it's fantastic it's vibes it's good vibes you know and then after a while i think like hours guys hours later comes up this guy to our table you know and then when he gets there he greets you know hi fan we're like hi mugai and then it's like hi mamello specifically calls me out by name you understand and then i'm like hey you know and then it's like hi how are you so you can tell this person the way he's greeting me he's sure that he knows me and i know him equally so you know and it's like ah um, i'm like oh i'm good i'm good thanks how are you you know it's like no i'm great you know now all the ladies are quiet because we want to understand you know because yes it has been two years that we haven't seen each other but i think we all knew each other's lives you know so if there was a particular somebody obviously they would have known about him you know fine and then he starts talking and then he's like yo Facebook you know so in my head I'm like oh shop so that's where we know each other from you know I'm like oh thank you because I am flattered indeed you know when somebody says your pictures are not lying that's that's a very good uh, compliment I think you know so I'm like okay no thank you you know it's like yeah and then he takes a minute and it's like you you, you can't recognize you don't recognize me ne? <laughs> like his exact words were you know 
and i'm like um to be sure i don't i, I don't recall i don't say but i'm like because in my head it would be very offensive for somebody to say i'm was you know especially when you came so warmly towards me to greet me you know fine so um and then he's like no we follow each other we follow each other on facebook i'm like oh is it no that's great that's great no i i mean and I, I promise you guys he told me his name <laughs> but i totally forgot that's another thing i'm not so good with names he told me his name and i'm like oh okay no i, I nice to meet you Wobble. shout how now guy sits down you know excuse me and in my head i'm like there's no need like i could need for you to sit down i mean we've greeted each other now i know that i know you from facebook it's really not that deep and the guys look at facebook it was much as <laughs> my facebook was doing good at the time i don't think it was that big that people would be so mad when they bump into me you know what i mean fine so now it's getting awkward because my guy would with mona and he's just staring at us and like we've said our hellos and it is enough really bounce like giddy up you know what i mean okay fine so i'm like oh okay no i i see a bong i see a bong i see a bong i see a bong yeah so now this is has a piece with the ladies you know this is a piece with the ladies you know and then he's like no it's fine i'm minding so sala you know i'm like so sala like why 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 so but i'm trying to be polite you know what i mean so i'm like no it's okay you know me and the ladies we are literally we are, like we are really trying to get together and catch up so it won't be nice having you sit here and then like the face next thing you know what i mean and then uh she stands up with his glass he had a glass he stands up and goes back to uh, his table, right? So when he goes back to the table, only then do I realize that actually he sits on the table right across us, you know? And he was with two or three other guys, if I'm not mistaken. But hey, we continue with the ladies, you know, holy vibes, holy vibes. And then um, a bit, like a few minutes after, maybe, maybe 20, 30 minutes after, the guy comes back and then is like, so now he comes back and then he's like, no, uh, my male bag, I've been eating so salad nine. You know? And I'm like, but no, what, what? Like, so now I'm trying to find the words to articulate my frustration and my boredom and my, why, why, you know, fine. Uh, and then oh, has to lo selling from the table that was uh, not far from where he was uh, uh, standing. And then oh, has to, I'm like, but we don't, hi Hamby, this is me i'm like i got you know but we really really don't want to sit with you like now it's going to be awkward to have you sit here naughty you know what i mean he was like how can't do i why when i saw yes from facebook i wouldn't think good to yes born like i wouldn't think good to us i mean i thought good to you are humble i thought it was very well you know sometimes people like to say oh we are Sheila. there's nothing wrong with that girl what's wrong with loving yourself you know we are Sheila, because yes hello you are this how <laughs> and now this guy's going on and on of just how much of a bad person I am because I don't want to sit with him. Hey, well, now my friends are intervening, and I remember it was Musi who intervened, number one. And she was like, No, but guy, like she's saying, you know, and we are trying to have a moment with each other so maso hlele lana angeke sebenze yabo mhlala lapha nabangani bakho nathi sihlale lana ayikabi yabo yo alak nias bona nias bona i remember i went to uh, uh pjs milan right she's like yeah nias bona mto magana so pj so i'm like okay this guy has got files so not only does he know me but he also knows my friends and he knows which school we went to you know what i mean 
fine but now he's becoming dramatic you know he's becoming dramatic because now even when he talks he's like he's he's using his hand up all up up, up in our faces you know yeah you know so i don't want to lie he, he he did look a bit more jaded than he was the first time when he came to the table but also that's not an excuse you know for you to be pointing your hands all up in our faces you know so my friend i think my friend is not level it, it, it's busy stood up and went to uh the bouncer on time okay we having a problem this guy wants to sit with us we don't want to sit with a guy we're telling him that we don't want to sit with him but he's just being a nuisance you know so the bouncer comes very nicely not even drama guys buffy tells like no hey, my guy i was saying they don't want to sit with you so please go back to your table Bobo. nicely guys i love such places i love such places one is if you really go fine so Shaprena, uh, but oh no, like go back to your table, you know. He, like, he, he was the way he said it, he was so stern and he made it clear that we are not even going to debate this. I am telling you what to do, and you're going to stand up and do exactly that, you know. Fine, and then he was like, Yeah, yeah, ne. <laughs> and then he stood up, took that uh chair, and then like wanted to dram dramatically throw it to our table, you know. And then that guy held the chain like you're not gonna do that on some it's not that kind of party here you know fine so the guy stood up and went to uh his table with those remarks so now you're talking about this like he i told this guy like come on you know so now you're trying to find the name so that i can actually go on my youtube on i was on my youtube on my facebook and block this guy because wtf you know what i mean and guys, at that time, we don't even have Instagram. We don't even have YouTube. Can I just have water? 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 Fine, I'll tell my emo guy. And we continue having a nice time. You know? So, obviously, he's busy looking at us and having remarks. But because, you know, you're not on our table. So, we are not going to stress over you. Like, we are here for a good time and that is exactly what we're gonna have right so we continue having good time good vibes and then it was later on obviously and okay sharp so i decide that um we, we all decide rather on a central place where we can drop each where i can drop the ladies so that excuse me it's convenient for them to get taxis to home excuse me not a problem great stuff now we leave the establishment we go to the parking lot i start my car you know guys god works in mysterious ways because uh when we went out i think we bumped when we were on our way out we bumped into other uh, uh, um other guys that we went to school with and then they were saying that they're now moving to another location you know and then we're like oh okay no i mean good let's all go you know i mean gonna go on about smaloho on about india and i mean it's just a night out and we have each other you know what i mean and we are using our car so it's no biggie and so we're driving also i we get in the car i start my car but you know how do you do um Right, Gamo Park. If you know Dobsonville Mall, <laughs> on the exit, ne, when you turn right, ne, right, ngaro ya ko ko di crazy li mingam lezwe, ne. When you go there, there's like a first hump that leads you to the garage and the taxi rank, right? So when you get to the first first hump, you, my guy, like makes a really funny noise as if the undercover is scraping the floor. You know, hey, fine, I don't pay much to it. And then we continue to drive we get a second hump my car makes the very same uh sound that it did and like i'm like no I, I, this is worrisome so i turned down the volume I'm like it is can you hear what's going on you know and then like okay now we start paying attention because now you talk about reason group make you know what i mean so we get to another hump my car scrapes again i'm like no ways no ways mind you i said my car was but and it's a brand new car guys it was bought in january that year and when we had those drinks it was somewhere towards the end of the year 
Ain't no way my card now has a kona melody hump. You know what I mean? Fine. And then <laughs> funny enough, guys, as, as as ladies, we don't know much about car. We just said, what if your alignment at that point in time? <laughs> at that point in time, I didn't know what alignment is, but I knew it wasn't what is causing the sound to do what the, 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 the car to make that sound, you know? Fine. And then the reason why I'm saying God works in mysterious ways, and then we bump into those guys, but now they're coming back. Bali Ben and Ruby going to the second location with them. They are coming back and they're like, no, um, apparently that place is closed. So now we're going to check another one called Middle Lens. So Middle Lens is a stretch because Middle Lens now is the other direction from where we are. And Naganako, Kiko Kai, Kiko Slovo, Busi Snake Park, um, Lebu is Kahiso. So that is, that's the opposite direction of where we are headed, you know? So, for some weird reason, we're like, ah, then it's fine. We'll hook up some other time. You know what I mean? Fine. With Ratama. Oh, and then, no, before Ratamaya. And then now, I get it. Riemi. Ooh, the film gave me subtitles. <laughs> so, you know, okay, my car is parked in the direction of going that way. And I said they are coming back. So, they are parked uh, facing that direction, right? So, this guy now checks out my wheel and say, no man, you need to go and um, what's that say? You need to go and pump your wheels. You know, I'm like pump my wheels. He's like, yeah, you need to pump your wheel, okay? And then add a wheel, like in singular form, and meaning that it's the front wheel that he's looking at. You know, okay, sharp, no problem. So I'm like, hey, okay, I would like in my head, I'm like, did it get so flat that now it's a it, it's scraping the floor when we get to house you know has it gotten that low fine now we are driving and now i'm driving but now i'm worried to say like why is my car doing such you know fine we are driving and then we get to the very first garage that we bumped into it's like a group of guys i do think only and then, and then they come like, ah, oh, sit there. Ah, oh, yeah. You are my really hard. You know? And then I step out of the car. When I step out of the car, the guy who works there at the uh, gas station walks away. I'm like, dude, one, it's dark. <laughs> Two, you are letting this group of men come and talk to us ladies. Like, Ganjani Brew. Ganjani Brew. You know what I mean? Fine. So I call out to him. I'm like, no, I'm going to you know? And he's like, I'm mean, going to go to the garage. I'm like, no, I came here to the garage because I need a sister in here, like, in the garage, you know? And he's like, ah, okay, sisters, it's not a problem. Now I thought to go to your fan. And then he comes. I'm like, no, man. Uh, but my tire, like, my, my, my car is making really funny noises, especially if it's really harmful. So please check out my tires for me. And then this guy looks at the tire. And then he moves from the front one, goes to the back one. And then he looks at me, and then he goes to that other one on the side, and then he goes to the front one, go passenger side, and then he comes back to me and said, oh, "Where are you? I said, like, where are you from? You know? How?" And then I look at him with confusion, obviously, on some like, "I can't go my diary," you know? And I was like, "No, yes, this is the other one. I'm going to police. Yes, the other police are back. And I'm like, when guys greet you, you must greet them back, you know?" I'm so confused, but I'm trying to be nice. So I'm like giggling, nyana. Margi giggle, el and I'm confused, you know. And then he's like, no, no. Uh, and then he calls me, and then Riamu model diring him. And then he shows me, do you see these things that um? Now I don't know. I don't know. Babe, I do not know anything about cars. I can call my boyfriend right now and ask him, but it's something that is in an engine, right? I think so, of a car. These cabs, deflator. What are they called? Thank you. All right. So I had to give you valve cabs, right? So this guy shows me the valve cabs and they are all loosened, guys. And he says to me, no man, what happened here is that somebody deflated your tires because this was done intentionally guys we go right around the car and all the tires we've done that so this crazy mother effer <laughs> went to my car and deflated all my tires at that point in time don't get me wrong 
I can know Maria Hurry. I can know Maria Hurry. You know what they say? No, no. My concern is, are you are you mad? Are you mad? So I must die. I must die because when now you wanted to share a table with us and we didn't want to share a table with you. Now you want to kill me? Like I was so mad. I was so so mad that time. I wished I wished I had memorized his name so that I can look him up. I wanted to call my uncles. I wanted us to go to his house and be on some mpama mpama something. Nothing makes me scared. Do you see my hands? Do they look like they're shaking to you? No. Look guys, I really, I really wanted a way of showing him how crazy what he did was, you know? So this guy, so I'm asking the guy, I'm like, so there's no way this could have happened um, intrinsically, you know, without anyone having done this. Like, no, 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 no. These things, you must uh, open them up so that the tire deflates. I'm like, we were all shook in the car. Me and the ladies were like, how sick is this guy? How sick is this guy? All because you wanted to share a table with us and we said no and you go and deflate our tires. I mean, what if what if I was speeding and the car lost control? I, mean, I could think of a million scenarios that would have ended up in RIP. Did you even think about that? You know, I was so, I was so mad. And I remember the following day I went home and I told my mom about it. And I was like, what? Like at that point in time, next time I just told my mom we went out for drinks. It was a matter of showing up, dude. I almost died. You know what I mean? So after that day, guys, I was very, very conscious of my number plate being posted on uh, uh, socials. Like, uh, you know, especially if you're going in places where you know that you're going to meet a lot of people that know you like that, you know? Because I grew up in Soweto. I went to school in Soweto. So chances are, hiking local Soweto, it will be easier for people to spot my car. You know what I mean? And yes, obviously at times there will be that little mistake or little oversight where the number plate shows, you know what I mean? And you can't always be careful or you can't always be extra careful. But that day it taught me, hold up, people are just crazy. People are just crazy, 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 Archer, you know? And people can take it whole nine yards for absolutely nothing, you know? So yeah, that's the story I was sharing with the ladies to say, you must vakar vakar, Archer you know so yeah that's what the guy did he played a number on me and i remember i tried to manually go through my followers on facebook so that i can try and find him so that i can gun him down and do something and show up at his door like what what so we couldn't do that because i couldn't remember the guy's name and he also just kept quiet and never said anything after that i don't know i think maybe he thought i was dead or something but yeah, if you're watching my YouTube now, if now you are stalking me on YouTube, I want you to know that I'm still alive. I'm still alive. <laughs> but on the serious note, guys, this story is so that you understand just how serious it is for you to be extra careful on what you post. And I understand that maybe he didn't even know my car like that. Maybe because, like I said, the establishment is right at the parking lot, you know, or was, because now it has moved. It was right at the parking lot so maybe when we were busy fetching our jerseys or whatnot he saw the car you know but in jail be calculative especially as a female and especially as if you're going out as females alone so that was my story time i hope that you guys enjoy it i am still alive fishing off but can't keep a good man down <laughs> i wish i could say my name more and i'm jealous i'm still alive but because i don't remember him you guys also don't remember him but yeah um and we'll see you later if you guys don't watch my youtube channel like say something in the dms of how much we owe not even dms in the comment section of how we almost died because of this brother who was angry that we didn't want to stay or share a table with him but otherwise let me guys know in the comment section what you thought of the story time let me know if you've also met some crazy people out there you know let me know what happened to you let me know what was supposed to take you out <laughs> but actually didn't take you out otherwise for me for always 
uh, coming to watch my channel but yeah i hope this video conscientizes you to always be woke to always uh, check out your surroundings especially if you're going out by yourself as a female or if you are going out with your friends and you all are just a bunch of uh, women because men tend to use that to take advantage of us stupid man yeah it's only the stupid man who do that but yeah let me know in the comment section what happened to you do you also have some crazy stories where people just recognized you from somewhere and they thought now they're entitled to you you know what i mean but yeah let's all share and let me know what you thought of my story in the comment section i love 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 hearing from you guys otherwise from me can sign nicolelo and i can shout for always coming back again and again and being my retaining soldiers i appreciate the love and i appreciate the support i cannot wait to read your comments otherwise i love you guys so much and to the guy if you were still stalking my youtube channel i want you to know that i'm still alive because you can't keep a good man down i'm joking but yeah thank you guys so much <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my video. It is always with love. Let's meet in the comment section. Until we meet again. Mm.